What's up guys, it's X3i2x here, and I am bringing you my first official tutorial on Minecraft modding. That's going to be on blocks and ores and how to generate them in the world. Now, uh, I don't really know where to start, but um, a little, I guess, background on Mod Loader. So, uh, Mod Loader is pretty much used so it eliminates uh, mod crossing, I guess you could say. So let's say if you, this is the block class, this is one of the main classes of Minecraft. All the blocks are made here and declared here. Now let's say you made your own new block and you declared it here and you saved that file. Well, if you pass that on to somebody else to use as a mod, um, they'd be, they'd be, they could use it really easy. But then let's say somebody else passes on another mod to them that also changes the block. Um, then they would cross because you can only have one block class in there so yeah that's what mod loader is for it basically eliminates that crossing of mods so uh... now let's get to our making a block okay so first of all oops what am i doing uh... you want to go to your source you want to create a new class now let's name this block um, also, yeah, if you're making a new block, make sure to start the name with block, capital B, L, O. It, it's not, like, it's not necessary, but all the other ones are named like this, so it's easier to find. So let's block, and I've actually had this on my mind, Mysterium. Let's call it that. Oh, type already exists. I uh, already made a class like that. Forgot about that. Um, I don't know, what, what's a good block name? Block, uh, Blockium. That's a that's a pretty good block. Alright, so now we have our blockium. So okay, so you made your own block class. Now what you're gonna need in there is first of all it needs to extend block because it just it just does. Now okay, so we need an constructor. All blocks are constructors are protected. So they can't be read from main, and basically it's it's just for safety. So, and uh, all block constructors have two ints. What is it? Oh, mysterious. Why am I doing that? Blocking. Yeah, I was just doing some pre-modding, I guess. Did I spell that right? In places, super constructor blocks under five blocks. Um, okay, um, so let's put in super x, y, and then a material. What you want your um, what you want your block to be? I'm just gonna put rock because we're gonna make like a stone type, I guess. Now, um, I actually for the next part, um, yeah, I'll show you this in a second. Now you want to make another class. Emit mod underscore just like this lowercase mod, and this is necessary for all mod loader mods. This is like how it's done. So it's, you always start with mod underscore and then whatever you want. So blockium or or let's just let's just do blockium. So make a class, and now we have a brand new class. Okay, so let me actually I have some notes here. Oh, okay. So all mod underscore whatever classes extend base mod. Now let's look at the base mod class real quick before we do anything in here. So this is exactly what it says. It's a base mod. So it's like the basis of all mods that you create in mod loader have some of these or all of these um, methods. Now you see on the right side here. I don't know if you if you're using Eclipse, you kind of you can just pop this out, and it'll show you all the methods on this, on the right side. Now you see these two: get version and load are abstract methods, which means they need to be overridden in your new class. And but all the other classes, I mean all the other methods, um, are free to use if you need them or not. So let's do that first. Wait, what is it? load and get version that's a string that's a void okay so first of all let's make a public void load 
and we don't actually need anything in that method so we can just put some parentheses and semicolons and whatnot I mean why yeah well, I don't know why I just semicolons uh, brackets and parentheses and it can have an empty body now the next one is public string I think it's get version now this one just um, it just returns um, the version so let's just do what's the minecraft version right now is it no nope. what is it what did I just mess up get version Oh, semicolon right there. I should not have done that. Okay, so now we have our abstract classes out of the way. So those are just, uh, I mean, you just have to do that. Now we have to declare a block. So let's do public. Wait, I mean, like, let me actually. Okay. Um, it's uh, public static final block. Um, what's their block name? Let's do Blockium. Make sure to do it uh, on a lowercase, so you know you can you can get them separated, I guess. Uh, new block Blockium. Now you, this is just your name for your block inside of this class. This has to be the name of the class that you made of that block. So when you made block Blockium, that's what it has to be. Um, now let's um I think it's first it's the ID of the block and next is the look of the block. So let's go to what is it? Oh yeah, we need to figure out the ID. So I have this um on minecraftwiki.net there's a PNG that actually shows you all the items and all the IDs, which is really useful. I'll probably link it down in the description. But we need to figure out an ID of a block that's not used yet. So anywhere from 122 to around 250 works. But just to be safe, let's go to like 180 in between. So it's not going to get used anytime soon. So let's do that. 180 is the ID. And now the other one is um, the look of the block. Now, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to, yeah, I'll show you how to make it custom custom look of a block so just put that to zero because we we're not going to use that um, now we need, to, we need to set some attributes to this block now if you go to your block class you see and you scroll all like almost all the way down you see all these blocks are getting initialized now let's see um, you see like stone its ID of one and it looks like stone now set hardness, we should probably do this because I don't know what the default block hardness is. But um uh, where is it? Which one are we doing? Okay, so let's do dot set hardness. And uh, it can go from zero, so it's like completely breakable, to I think like a hundred, which is like obsidian, and it's I mean I think it's like no that's not obsidian. A hundred I think is uh bedrock so let's just go to how about one f oops f and wait actually we can i don't know let's 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 set something else so resistance that's uh explosion uh hardness is pretty much how fast you can mine it resistance is how fast does it like blow up i guess or if it blows up step sound we can change the step sound i don't know what the default is but you have all the step sounds here you can sound like you're going over stone, wood, gravel, whatever. Uh, block name. Actually, his block name does not matter, but we can go ahead and do that. Um, wait, no, actually, where's uh, where's glowstone? I want to find glowstone. Come on, glowstone. Where are you, glowstone? I, I know I missed it, like. All right, here it is. Glowstone. Set hardness up sound. Set light value actually gives it, um, gives it like light, I guess. So let's set the light value at one. Um, yeah, let's do that. It'll have the light of glowstone. And do for last, let's do set block name. Now this really doesn't matter, so we can just put blah in here. And yeah, 
whatever. That's not the name in game. Now the we um, we have the abstract classes. I mean methods, and we have uh, we have a declared and initialized our block. Let's go ahead and make a constructor for this. So you do public mod blockium. Now here is where the mod loader methods come. You want to do mod loader dot register block and put in your block name. So we have declared blockium up there. So we'll put in blockium. This basically lets the game know that hey, here's my block. Make sure it's put in the game and make sure the game recognizes it. Now let's also do uh, mod loader dot add name and first is the object so that will be blockium and next is s which means string and that would be um, blockium now this is actually the the name in game so this is the one that matters this one does not at all um, okay so we did want to add a custom texture to it so let's go ahead and do that you would do your object which is blockium dot block index in texture whoops equals mod loader dot add override and the um, the default texture picture is terrain dot png and I named mine uh, I think it's custom block oops gotta finish that string all right and I named mine custom block dot png I made a quick one in GIMP before this. So this pretty much lets us use the custom block. Now okay. Um what else do we need to do? Let's see. Oh okay. Okay, I got it. Now we have generated the block. I mean it's gonna it's gonna give us a block, but what happens when we mine that block? Now you gotta go back to your block dot block Ugh, block blockium class is getting really uh, tongue twisting and you want to um, first we're gonna figure out what it's gonna drop and next we're gonna figure out how how much of it it's gonna drop so let's go to public int id dropped int x and then random rand and it's gonna return my dot example no, nope, no, nope, that's just my example. Uh, what is it? Block dot blockium dot, and then we want to go to our object, which is blockium with a lowercase b dot block id with a capital id and semicolon. No parentheses after that. And another great thing about Eclipse is that when you're missing a package, it, you just put your mouse over it, and when you need to click and just do import random and it'll import the package for you right here okay so now when we break the block we're gonna get back um, our blockium blocks which is cool you can make this return this is pretty much the ID of whatever you want it to return so you could actually make this I don't know what the item is I think it's like item item something dot item ID or something like that you can make it drop diamonds if you want you can make it drop glowstone if you want I think it's like block that glowstone dot ID or something like that or block ID I don't I don't know uh, I don't know off the top of my head so next we want to figure out how many of it does it drop so we're gonna get another random rand in here and return how many do we want just one one's fine Okay, so now that we have this, 